Quack! Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster Episode 7. My name is Ben from Skinny Fat Duck. And previously we vanquished the vampire that was wreaking havoc on the local village. However, the village is still in uh, a dilapidated state. So therefore we are going to take the star ruby that we picked up in that dungeon and we're going to take it to the giant's cave and see what happens right after this random encounter you have star ruby give me star ruby and I let you pass Mmm, um, nothing tastier than rubies. And he just walks off the screen, apparently. Um, oh crap, you know what? So I did not, I did go back to town However, I did not stock up on anything, so if there's not a village on the other side of this, which I don't believe there is, I may have to go back. Great Axe, Mithril Helm. Eh. Mithril Helm's nice. I wonder if Jeff can use it. Doesn't look like he can. And I want to test Pooh's damage with just bare, bare knuckles. Honestly can't remember the mechanics for a monk. But I guess we'll be able to tell pretty easily if it's any good. Oh, man, I've been doing this all wrong. Wow. Okay. So maybe it scales, maybe it scales with your level or something. Because I want to say before when he had that weapon equipped and when I tried to unequip it, it was supposedly less damage. But I mean, he is just, he is just wrecking everything. I kind of wish I would have known that before. All right, if I had to guess, the Earth Shrine's gonna be down here. I just don't know if we're ready. Who would have thought going barehanded would double your DPS? As I've mentioned several times, I'm definitely not a, I'm a Final Fantasy fan, but I know very little about this game in particular. I've only beaten it one other time, I believe, or one time. So, I'm pretty much a noob. And that was ages ago. Let's see what this guy has to say. So you're the ones who defeated the vampire, eh? Who is but a servant. The beast corrupting the earth crystal lurks much deeper within the cavern. Here, take this staff with you and use it behind the vampire's chamber. Okay. All right, so that will give us a reason to... go back to town so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make my way back to town and then I'm going going to make it all the way to the end of the earth cave because it's gonna be a ton of random encounters and then uh, I'll catch everybody back as soon as I'm done 
See you in a little bit. Okay, and we're back. And we have the Earth Rod in hand. And another floor. The same monsters. That's okay. I did go ahead and pick up uh, a lot more restoratives and all that good stuff. And I was going to pick up the knight armor, which is a decent, a decent amount better, uh, at least defense-wise, as this iron armor here. But it's like thirty-eight thousand gil, and I just, um, yeah, I couldn't, um, I couldn't in good faith just make that purchase. So, just gonna hold off for now. See what my options are later. This isn't good. Yeah. Definitely gonna run from this one. I have a few golden needles, but not very many. That could end horribly. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh-oh. All right, not too bad. I will go ahead and maybe put a heal out. Of course, got to paralyze the healer. Just contained a just a plain old staff. That's excellent. Are these all going to be monster chests? That's more like it. At least they're easy to kill. complained and we'll continue onwards not that way Let's see here. There's some stairs. I'm almost inclined to skip that bottom 
Uh, you know what? Just as soon as I don't, it'll actually be something good. Just as soon as I do, it's gonna be a big, it's gonna be a chest full of bull crap. Went the wrong way, of course. Jeez, all these monsters, man. There's so many. And none of them are doing damage. Except that one. Could be good gold, though. And experience. I keep calling it gold. I know it's gill. I apologize. I don't remember it being gilled in the original version, though. I'm pretty sure it was gold in that. something good I'll take the tent even though I haven't used any of them yet oh eye drops are gone Figured they persist through combat. Oh wow, blink didn't even matter. Hey, a mithril shield. Don't mind if I do. Really need to get a new weapon for the white mage. Gotta be the last one. A lot of empty space. Only one door. Yeah, screw this. Fight this. Oh, and if we could just, you know what? I'm going to do one more random encounter before our boss battle. Might as well. We're all about to level. Man, the monk, now that it's unarmed, once I put temper and haste on him, is going to freaking wreck whoever we're about to fight. I can't remember who it is. All right. Go ahead and heal up. Who speaks to me?
Ah, it's the lich. I am he who feeds on the on the power of earth. I will not be disturbed by mortal men. I am the lich, fiend of earth. About to go down, my friend. You just wait. Um, once again, as a precaution, we'll just go ahead and do Null Shock. Ah, uh, what the heck. We'll try slow also. Of course, it didn't work on the boss. And ouch, that, uh, that kind of hurt. Ooh, and hand-to-hand -hand didn't do that much damage. Let's see. Go ahead and temper... Maybe he's just not, uh, or he's strong against melee. Maybe. Wonder how much Dia will do. Go ahead and temper the monk also. Yeah. Dia did decent damage. All things considered. We'll see what haste does. I mean, I just have to assume that it works with, uh, with temper. I wonder if slow would work now that he has haste on. I don't want to waste it though. Ooh. Just completely destroyed. Again, I'm not sure if if both of them stack or not, maybe next time I'll start with haste and see kind of how the damage looks there. I mean, it had to have stacked. It was way more damage than with just temper. I don't know what I'm thinking. We did it. We achieved Earth's blessing. Go ahead and get out of here. And I suppose we need to make our way back to the town. I don't know why it took me so long to figure out where we were going, but that's where we're going. Oh, and say one of our uh, one of our crystals is lit lit up now, which I believe in the original version it was orbs, at least in the U.S. version. Could have been crystals in the Japanese, and I could be totally wrong about that, honestly. But I want to say I felt like they were orbs, or maybe they were circular crystals. I don't know. That would make more sense. All right, so we restored the earth crystal. Or the crystals to grace. All right. Did anybody change? Earth crystal must be shining again. All right, well, it'll take some time for the um, for the foliage and plant life to heal.
But I suppose that our job is done here. Making sure if anybody's text has changed. Doesn't look like it has. I guess we may be done here. So next time, I guess we will go back out and explore a little bit and see what we can find. So that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider giving it a like and subscribing. We would definitely appreciate it. We'll be back with more content soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.